This is pretty cool. A real life Dexter's laboratory. Yeah, that's how you say it. A whiz kid with a very powerful idea. Max Lahan shares his story in tonight's Someone to Know. Do you think a 13 year old could change the world? Well, this one might change your mind. You got energy, you got power, you have everything. So to solve this problem, a few months ago, Max took the matter into his own hands and created this electromagnetic harvester out of a coffee can, some wire, two coils, and a spoon. This cost me 14 bucks. The harvester conducts radio waves, thermal, and static energy and turns it into electricity. There was a gentleman named Nikola Tesla and he started creating a tower on Long Island to try to figure out how to harvest wireless electricity. A couple months ago, my brother sends me this viral YouTube video and I encounter this guy named Max Lauhan. Max is 13 years old in this video and a news agency had just done a job on him. They had just done a story about him. And he had also just invented a new kind of wireless energy harvester. I got on the phone with Max and realized that I'm speaking to one of the great scientific minds of our future and instructors, a scientific instructor at the age of 13, our youngest ever Nexus presenter. Welcome, Max Lehman. a device that extracts electromagnetic energy from all around us and transfers it into electrical. Here's how it works. You collect the energy on one side of the device, which is then amplified, then polarized. The energy is then integrated into opposite polar semiconductors, where you put a uh, coil around between and on each side of the electromagnetic module and collect the energy. Voila! Free energy. <laughs> In 2016, a 13-year-old boy shook the scientific community with a theory that could revolutionize how we think about energy. His name? Max Laughlin. Then, he mysteriously vanished from the public eye. Today, we'll dive into one of the most intriguing stories of young genius, free energy, and unexplained disappearance. What happens when a child prodigy challenges the fundamental laws of physics? And more importantly, why did he suddenly disappear? Stay with us as we unravel this modern mystery that has captivated millions. Max Laughlin, the boy who knew too much. Before we dive into Max's groundbreaking device, let's understand who this young prodigy was. Born in 2003, Max showed extraordinary intellectual capabilities from an early age. By age 13, he was already developing theories that seasoned scientists found difficult to dismiss. But this isn't just another child genius story. This is about a boy who might have stumbled upon something that could change the world, or at least, that's what some believe. While most kids were learning basic arithmetic, young Max was already diving into quantum physics. His parents, initially bewildered by their son's extraordinary capabilities, noticed something different when he was just five years old. Mom, why do we pay for electricity when it's all around us? Young Max would ask, showing early signs of his fascination with energy. By age 10, Max wasn't just reading about physics, he was questioning it. His teachers reported something unprecedented. A child who could grasp complex scientific concepts and, more importantly, identify their flaws. What set Max apart wasn't just his intelligence, it was his ability to think beyond established norms. While other child prodigies excelled at understanding existing theories, Max was creating new ones. In 2015, at age 12, he began developing his first theoretical models. His understanding of parallel universes and quantum mechanics wasn't just impressive, it was revolutionary. But no one could predict how this brilliance would soon lead to one of the most controversial inventions of our time. 
2016 marked the year everything changed. Nax unveiled his concept for a free energy device, a mechanism that could potentially extract zero-point energy from the quantum vacuum. His device wasn't just another perpetual motion machine. It was based on principles that even seasoned physicists found hard to dismiss. Quantum field manipulation. Zero-point energy extraction. Electromagnetic frequency modulation. The device, surprisingly simple in design but complex in theory, promised to tap into what Max called the invisible ocean of energy surrounding us. But here's where things get interesting. Just as his device began gaining serious attention, strange events started occurring. What made Max's device revolutionary wasn't its complexity, but its elegant simplicity. Let's break down how it supposedly worked. The device consisted of three main components that worked in perfect harmony, a quantum vacuum field resonator, an electromagnetic frequency modulator, and a zero-point energy collector. Max explained it like this. Imagine the universe is like a glass of sparkling water. What we see as empty space is actually bubbling with energy. We just need the right straw to drink it. The genius lay in its simplicity. The device would theoretically create a localized field distortion, allowing it to harvest ambient energy from the quantum vacuum, something mainstream physics claimed was impossible. While established scientists were skeptical, they couldn't entirely dismiss the mathematical foundations of his theory. The equations seemed to work, at least on paper. By mid-2016, Max had become an internet sensation. His YouTube videos explaining quantum physics and free energy were going viral, reaching millions of viewers worldwide. He spoke with the confidence of a seasoned professor, but maintained the wonder and curiosity of a child. This combination made complex physics accessible to the average person, something that hadn't been done since Einstein's time. But with fame came scrutiny. Some questioned whether a teenager could really develop such advanced concepts. Others wondered who was really behind his work. The scientific community was split, half fascinated, half skeptical. Then came the first signs of trouble. Several of his videos began disappearing from the internet. His public appearances became less frequent and those who tried to replicate his device reported strange interference in their work. Late 2016, the turning point. Max was scheduled to give a major presentation at a scientific conference. He never showed up. The timeline raises more questions than answers. In September 2016, he made his last public appearance. October brought his final social media post. By November, his scheduled presentation was cancelled without explanation. December marked the beginning of complete silence. His social media accounts went dark. His website disappeared. It was as if someone had pressed a delete button on Max Laughlin's public existence. But the real question wasn't just where he went, it was why. And more importantly, who might have wanted him to disappear? The answers might lie in who stood to lose the most from his revolutionary ideas. The internet exploded with theories about Max's disappearance. Some seemed far-fetched, others disturbingly plausible. The first theory suggests corporate suppression. Energy companies, seeing the threat to their trillion-dollar industry, might have acted to protect their interests. A buyout and non-disclosure agreement could explain the silence. The second theory points to government intervention. Multiple witnesses reported seeing men in black suits around Max's last known locations. Some suggest he was recruited for classified projects. His genius too valuable to leave in the public domain. The third, perhaps most hopeful theory, suggests personal choice. The pressure of fame on a 13-year-old boy combined with his family's desire to protect him, 
might have led to a voluntary withdrawal from public life. But if this was true, why the sudden nature of his disappearance? After Max vanished, dedicated followers began piecing together what seemed like breadcrumbs he'd left behind. His final interviews contained what some believe were coded messages about the true nature of his discoveries. In his last known recording, he said something that now seems prophetic. The universe doesn't hide its secrets. People do. Sometimes the truth isn't found in what's present, but in what's missing. Strange posts appeared on obscure physics forums for accounts that matched his writing style. They contained fragments of equations, incomplete circuit diagrams, and cryptic references to quantum field theory. Were these Max's attempts to share his knowledge or elaborate hoaxes? Most intriguing were the reports from independent researchers. Those who tried replicating his work experienced bizarre phenomena, unexplained power surges, equipment malfunctions, and in one case, a complete laboratory blackout that affected an entire city block. Five years of silence were broken by a single video in 2021. For exactly three minutes and 47 seconds, an older Max appeared on screen. He looked different, older, more serious, his childhood enthusiasm replaced by a measured cautiousness. He spoke about quantum mechanics, but his words seemed carefully chosen, almost coded. Energy follows consciousness, he said, and consciousness follows truth. Some truths are better understood in silence. Was this proof he was continuing his work, or a carefully crafted message to those who understood what to look for? Recent developments in quantum physics have started validating some of Max's early theories. The zero-point energy field he described has been detected in laboratories across the world, though harnessing it remains elusive. A team in Switzerland recently published papers describing energy anomalies that align perfectly with Max's original equations. They stopped their research abruptly, citing external factors. No further explanation was given. What's most fascinating is how Max's theories from 2016 seem to predict quantum computing breakthroughs that wouldn't be discovered until years later. It's as if he saw where science was heading before science itself knew. Some scientists now quietly admit, maybe we weren't dealing with just a gifted child. Maybe we were witnessing someone who could see the fabric of reality in a way others couldn't, or weren't allowed to.